What's up guys, Justin here with DCGEssentials.com back with another Blender modifier tutorial for you. So today I wanted to make a quick video talking about modifiers, how to apply them, and how to get your results from your modifiers into other programs. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I've actually been getting this question or questions about it a fair amount, so I thought I'd just talk through this real quick. So as many of you know, modifiers are basically non-destructive ways inside of Blender to basically affect your model. So, for example, let's say that we were to apply a subdivision surface modifier to my Bonnie model right here. Well, what that does is that allows us to subdivide the surface of our model. Um, and this can be valuable for a lot of different things. Like, for example, the subdivision surface allows you to add detail while also being able to go in. And if you look at this, when I tab in edit mode, adjust the original geometry without having to adjust the more detailed geometry. So that's the case for the subdivision surface modifier. Other modifiers do other things, but that should give you kind of a general idea. So the thing with the modifiers, though, is you have to remember that as of right now, this is something that's only working inside of Blender. So you haven't actually changed your geometry in here. You have your original mesh, which if you tab in here, you can edit, but then you've got the modification on top of that. Well, let's say, for example, that I was to take this model, but right now, for example, I can't go in here and just select like one of these individual faces, right? Like I can tab in here, but you can see if I go into face select mode, I'm just getting these large faces. So if you did want to actually be able to adjust this new created geometry, what you would have to do is apply the modifier, which is basically making the change permanent. And so I'm just going to create a duplicate of my Bonnie model right here. And so this model has the subdivision surface modifier applied to it. Well, if I wanted to apply that, what I could do is I could just click the drop down right here and click on the button for apply. Now notice when I click on apply, a few things happen. First off, the modifier goes away, right? There's nothing in here anymore. The second thing is if I tab into edit mode, this is now my final geometry. So this first model over here that has the subdivision surface modifier, if I tab into it, notice how it has the original geometry. The new one has the new geometry that I can edit. Right, so if I was to extrude this, for example, now I can actually adjust like the full geometry that's in there. But one of the things you need to be aware of when you apply that modifier is you're making something final, right? So what that means is that means I can no longer go in here and adjust that modifier that was applied to this. We've basically made it so that this is now the geometry inside of Blender. There's no modifier to modify anymore. And so let's say that we wanted to export this to another model because I or another program because I get a lot of questions about how would I export this to Unity or something like that. So um, right now, let's do this. Let's do a file. We'll save this. So let's say we were to export this to an OBJ. So if we do a file, export, and then we do an, let's see, Wavefront OBJ right there. And we'll go ahead and just save this as Bonnie. And so one thing we want to pay attention to when we're exporting this is in the geometry section on the right hand side, notice how there's a box for apply modifiers. So if you were to not check this box and then export this OBJ, and then I'm going to import this into SketchUp just because that's what I have open. So I'm going to do a file import. So you can see I have my Bonnie file right here. If I click on it and I click on import, what I'm going to get is I'm going to get two models that come in here, right? I'm going to get the one on the left and the one on the right. Well, because we unchecked that box and they came in kind of small because sizing things get kind of weird um, when you bring things over into SketchUp. But if you look at this, notice how because we uncheck the box for apply modifiers, the one on the left comes in with that lightweight geometry, the one on the right comes in with the heavy geometry. That's because we applied the modifier over here, but not over here. Now, if you were to export this to an OBJ again, so we'll do a file, export, OBJ, but this time you were to check the box for apply modifiers, this would go through and this would apply all of the different modifiers that are in your stack before exporting this to OBJ. So if we call this Bonnie 2 OBJ, we export this. And then we'll move this off to the side. And then we'll just do another file, import. And we import that Bonnie 2 model. So we're going to go ahead and scale this up. Notice how now both of these models that we brought in are the heavier geometry. So this brought in the geometry based on that subdivision surface right here. So 
basically, if you want your modifiers to show up inside of another program, you want to make sure that you check that box for apply all modifiers when you're exporting, or you want to apply them over here on the right hand side to make that geometry final. Usually if I'm going to export something like that and I have to apply the modifiers, I would save that to its own file before you do the export or save it to a new file before you do the export. That way you've got access to the old file with the modifiers in it um, in case you need to make any changes. One other question that I do see a lot is can you um, export this with the modifiers active? to another program? As far as I know, the answer is no, because this is something that's specifically coded to work inside of Blender, right? When you export an OBJ file, for example, there's no space for modifier that you can bring into Unity or something like that. So what you need to do is you need to finalize your mesh data inside of Blender using the modifiers before you export it to get it into another program. All right, so hopefully you found that helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.